Hello, my crafty friends. I'm kind of behind on my painty papers for the painty paper swap in my Facebook group. So I'm going to work on that some today. And I've got some a bunch of papers that have some stuff on them, but they're definitely not finished. And so we're going to kind of work on that and see what we can do to finish them. And um, maybe even start some fresh ones. I don't know. <clears throat> And it depends on how far I get, I guess. <laughs> I'm trying to get as much out as I can out of this because I really love this color. I think that's pretty much it. Okay. I don't want to mix this too much because I want to see some blue and some yellow and and then some of the green that it, the two make when you mix them. Okay. And then my roll-off paper is the back of something I'm going to make into um, artist trading coins. So I want to be able to, um, I'm working on that at the same time. This is a placemat that I got at Dollar Tree. I like getting stuff at Dollar Tree because it only costs a dollar. <laughs> hmm, I can't tell if that's really going to show up much or not. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and put it right here. Then I've got this paper that I'm putting... When I frame stuff, and so I'm going to work on building up a frame here a little bit. That's the cool thing about this big jelly plate is that you can do a full piece of paper plus a, some extra. So you can add borders to several pieces of paper or a big one, something like that. So that's fun. Make sure I got this good. Got some little air holes that I'm not sure we're going to pick up good. So I'll need to add some more stuff to that. But this side is from a homemade jelly plate that I did this probably three years ago, and I never got any further than that with it, so I'm determined to finish it and, and use it. I also want to go ahead and see what I can get off on this. So I need to send out some of these in my painty papers, too. I like the, getting the deli papers as, along with the other papers. Let's see if anything will come up. I think we added some color to that. So there's there's a layer. Just keep adding layers. Okay, I'm going to hang that up too because it's time to get blown away. And this is something I was doing a masking experiment with. Um, so I think I want to frame it out. And then I also want to frame this one. 
So I'm going to see if I can do that with some black and silver. And let's see if there's another one I want to use. And I may do this one too. That way I can just lay them out here and see what I can get done. Both of these are metallic and the silver, so I'm hoping it'll look it'll look good, I hope. I'll have some of that other stuff on it probably a little bit, but that's all right. Just adds texture. Oh, I didn't really want this color on that. Let's just roll it off on here. There we go. Okay. Now I want to make some some kind of texture on this. I think this piece is big enough to do the whole jelly plate. Okay. Now I'm going to put this one right here. And I'm just adding some stuff to this. Not sure how much I actually like that, but <clears throat> we can always add over the top of it if we want to. Okay. There's that one. Oh, I'm transferring some of the paint onto the top of this, which I didn't really want to do. Doing it on top of this probably wasn't such a great idea. We're getting some stuff on there. Okay, we've got some layers on there. Now I'm going to pull this off. And I think I'm going to let that dry. Well, maybe not. Maybe it's too, too much. I've got this one that's just an under paper mess. So I'm going to put it on here and See if I can pull up some more of this stuff. If you get those places where it bubbles up, you need to go ahead and try to rub those out. Otherwise, you won't have any paint in those spots. Okay, that just makes it even muddier, doesn't it? Uh, it's okay. We'll do something else on top of it later and it'll be good.
I've got this one I want to do something on top of because I just don't really like that. But I thought, but I really like this one. So I'm going to put some of this Anita's um, Topaz metallic paint on here. Okay. And I'm sure it'll pick up some of that black and silver and everything that was underneath it, but that's okay. Okay. And we need some kind of print to go on this one. And I think I'm going to use these leaves again. See what we can do with that. Okay, this is going to be a lot prettier this time. You can actually see the through the print, so that means it'll work better. <laughs> okay, so let's put this one right here. And then I'm going to use this one to take up the extra. Okay, see if we can add a little bit more there. All right, well, we've added some stuff to it. Now let's see what happens here. Okay, that's much more interesting than just the snake. <laughs> that's what that always reminds me of, a snake skin. I'm not... Not that excited about snake skin. Okay, let's go back here and see if I can pick up some more. It's funny, it left some of the snake skin imprint on the plate from the paper. Interesting. Okay. Now I want to do something different on this because it's still, you can see this so well and I don't really want to do that. I want it to be painty, not, not printed. Um, but it is fall stuff underneath, so we're going to go ahead and do some orange and um, some gold oops get that off just kind of messing it around and then I'll try to okay got Something right there. All right, is there something in my prayer? 
Nope. Well, it feels like there's something on my breaker that's leaving funny marks. There it is, whatever it was. Okay. That's better. Okay. And um I think I'm just going to do this the orange right here in the middle. And then I'm going to put some kind of pattern around the edges and pull another border thing off on the um Here's a new, a new flip-flop. Okay, we're going to do this one, let's see, I think I'm just going to do it right up here in this corner, it's hard to know exactly where you put stuff down before. And then I'm going to come around and try to frame this one a little bit. And this one doesn't have anything on the back, so I'm just going to pick up whatever's left around this on here. Well, we pulled up some stuff. Let's see how we did with this one. Okay. Well, that'll be a good background. It's got some texture on it from other stuff. <clears throat> and we still got all this on here, so I'm going to find that piece of dilly paper. I'm just going to do it in pieces too. Like that. Okay. 
That's getting painty. Let's hang it back up so it doesn't blow around. Okay, it's not completely done. Let's see if we can get up a little more with this. Which I don't usually do um, parts of my paper on there, but I thought if there was some of it that still needed to come up, we could get it up with that. Okay, now I want to do something on the front of this and add something to that. And I think I'm going to leave this alone, just like this, for the back of that one. So we'll, we'll roll her off onto this. Okay. Looks like we've got layers of orange and layers of blue and green and yellow and blue and green over here. So I think I'm just going to do some blue and green. I'm going to do this turquoisey blue. Nope. I think I'm going to do this blue. This is blue pearl. You know, pulled out stencils before I got started. <laughs> okay, let's put this one down and this one. Let's go ahead and lay that one down. And this one. And we'll put this one on the edge here. Okay. That will be interesting, won't it? I'm going to go ahead and pull some of it up with this. Excuse me, no. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to do that right here. And then I'm going to put this over it, see what we can get. From these stencils. I'm always changing my mind. It's probably really frustrating for some of you watching. I tell you I'm going to do something and then I get going and change my mind, but the truth is, sometimes you think something's going to be really good, and then once you get the get it ready to go, you realize that that would really look better on something else. Okay, we just got some more layer there. Go 
pull that up. Okay. It added a little bit of something to that. Not as, doesn't make as much difference as I thought it would, but I think I like it okay. All right, let's see if we can pull off some more. Um, let's do it here. All right, we did pull off some more stuff there. And I'm going to go ahead and use this same thing here and see how we can do here. And one more here. All righty. That one's actually looking pretty cool. All right, I'm going to pull these up. I'm just going to put them in here and see what we can get some of the pattern off on this. Okay. Got to find a place to lay those stencils because they're still kind of damp. And I think there was too much paint on here already for it to do very much, but that's all right. Now there. I'm going to put some of this on here, see if we can pull something up on top of that orange. I'm going to pull some of it up on this. getting more interesting too. Okay, look at that. I love that. That turned out perfect. Alrighty. Super cool. Okay. <laughs> I had to stop and take my son to work and run some errands and and then they came to put the stove in and then I was watching Becky's live stream and I've been busy doing all kinds of things besides finishing this video so now I'm going to try to get it finished. Um, I don't remember where I was or what I had just finished doing because I was playing with some making painty papers while I was watching Becky. So some of the things that you'll see are probably stuff I did while I was watching her instead of um, stuff I did during this earlier part of this video. But I'm just going to keep going. So, But if you notice stuff come up, you don't know where it came from, that's where it came from. Or it was stuff that, like some of these, I had done a long time ago and never finished. All right. Um, I'm going to be using some of these texture plates that I made um, back when I made my first 
my first uh, jelly plate, I made some of these to play with, and they're a lot of fun, so I'm going to play with those a little bit now. I'm going to need something to mop off on, roll off on, whatever. Not that one, it's got too much stuff on it. Okay, we'll do this one. Uh oh, there's a goopy part. Get that out of the way. I did, while I was watching Becky's live stream, I played a little bit with some doilies, and so there's still some papers kind of stuck down that um, need to get off. Okay. I'm just going to put this down and press. And then... I'm going to turn it around. I should have had another paper here to put those off on, but I didn't think about it. So, I mean, something that was had a background on it already. Okay, I like that. And I'm going to put these on top of it. This is almost, it's not big enough for two full size pieces of paper, so I'll just put this up here to do as well. And then I'm going to do it here. Oh, pulled that right off with it. Wasn't expecting that to happen. Anyway, that's what it looks like. I think that helped that paper. And... Need to pull that off on something. Let's get some jelly paper is always good for that. What did I lose? Oh, some paint. It'll be all right. Pulled some stuff off with it. And I'm going to go up here again and see if I can get some more. Okay. And I think I want to do that same turquoise on top of this because I think it'll be pretty. But I'm going to use a different texture plate, I think. Up to run out of that, which is probably time because it keeps getting finding goopy things. Rolling it up. All right. Let's use this one. 
I made these to go over the 8x10 jelly plate. And I made them bigger than would actually, you know, than a plate, which is good because I could use them on this one now. I just have to kind of um, use them one and a half times instead of just one time. But put that down. I'm going to put this down here. And I'm going to put that right there. It's very crooked. <laughs> very crooked. Okay, add some little bits to that. So let's pull this off now. Oh, see all those wrinkles? If you can get those out, it's better because the paint um, doesn't stick where it's got the air trapped. So, but I can't get them out. So that's probably going to mess up our print. Well, not too bad. All right, well, that was interesting. Okay. Not much came off there. bit okay that's all right for now I was really hoping for a little bit better than that but it'll be okay my plate's moving off oh I have a whole bunch of wooden I have a frame and a bunch of different things that are all wooden embellishment type things. And I put them somewhere safe and I cannot find them. I put them in a box so they wouldn't get crushed. And now I can't figure out where that box is. And that makes me sad because I really wanted to play with those today. Oh, if you saw my studio, you would understand why I can't find them. I'm sure they're in a pile somewhere. Okay. I'm trying to think what else I want to play with. I'm kind of tired, so let's see what other pages need to be done. Maybe we could decide that way. I want to do the back of that one. Oh, I wanted to do some of these. Let's let's do some of these real quick. I've got this paper that has lines on it. And I want to put some of these in the um, in my painting paper swap. But I want to keep some of the lines. So I'm going to put some of these butterflies on them to make journaling spots. Let's see how that works. I thought they'd be cuter than just squares. Okay. I'm going to do some red. And I'm going to add a little bit of yellow 
kind of out around the edge. I'm hoping that if I do it that way, maybe it won't completely blend in. But it'll definitely blend some, so. I always feel like I'm working with mustard and ketchup when I put this combination on the plate. It's Alrighty, let's roll off on this. I'm gonna put this paper down. We're gonna add another frame on this page. Whew, that's bright. Need another one here. I think. I may just go ahead and try to do it because there's definitely enough paint left over. There we go. Oh, then I left a, something there. And this wrinkled, you can see that. But this is what it looks like. Let's take these butterflies off here. Let's see if we can get another layer on that in a minute. It's maybe so wet with this. Posty stick them stuff doesn't. Well, those are pretty. I almost want to take them off and leave them like that. Okay, let's stuck those back on there. Not in the order they were on there to begin with, but anyway. Let that dry a little bit. I'm going to let this dry a little bit. Not too much because I'm kind of impatient. I'm wanting to get a few more things done and then stop here. But this looks like it'll be a fun one if I can dry it and if put, a, put something behind it. Oh, well, that's drying. I'm going to show you a few of the things I did. While Becky was streaming, I framed out this one, and then I did this on the back of it. So we've got some bricks. And then I went ahead and put the plate down on here after I took it off of the jelly plate and put that. I like that. And I also pulled this up. So I got to do something on the other side here. And I've played around with this with some giant snowflakes, but you can't really tell. I did the snowflakes in this um, pearl white, and it just really didn't show up very much. So it's hard to tell that they're there. If you look really hard and you know that's what's there, you can see them, but otherwise you can't. I used these. These big things just kind of stuck them on the plate. Oh, 
Oh, I did some more stuff, but I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I really am getting tired. I am going to have to stop here in a minute. Let's put, um, where'd that blue go? There it is. We're going to put this blue behind it. It may not be um, dry enough. We're going to do it anyway. Put this back up here and do some rare and off. Kind of like that look for a base. Let me find another one that needs something. Okay, that one definitely needs something. So rare off on it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put this one down since it's already got some of those colors on it. I'm going to rub this one down and hopefully it'll stay put when I put something around it. Okay, sorry. Took me a minute to remember where. Put one more frame on that piece, and I'm going to call it good. Probably should have put this on the top here because there's not as much stuff on it, but. There we go. So there's that one. Oh, I also did this. Look at that. Doesn't that look like fun? Okay. Let's pull this one up. Let's see if it cleans this off. I think it's going to clean it pretty good. Okay, you can see the butterflies, but there you see where the wrinkle was too. It's pretty though. It's a very grungy, grungy look, but I like it. This maybe that'll come up on this next one. No, oh, that that's helping. So what do we want to do next? Oh, I also printed off on this, kind of added some more to that one. We need to add something here on the sides of it too. That might be good just to bray her off right there. Maybe I'll do that. We'll do some more to that one in a minute too. I'm going to do this one next. And what colors do I want to use? Let's use red. And some of this bronze. Well, maybe. almost empty too. Like everything I've got is almost empty. <laughs> That's all right. It's good to be using things up. Mm 
Just help that out a little bit. So, yeah, I like that. That helped out a lot. Okay. And so we've got this. Oh, didn't have my butterflies on there in time. I think I've got enough paint on there. It'll be fine, but... Okay, let's put some kind of print on here. All right, this down. Let's see if we can get some of this off on it. Sometimes I think I need two more hands. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Look at there. It's wrinkling up on me. It just gets too wet. All right, let's do another frame. We're going to do one on this side this time. adds a little something to that side. Okay, now let's pull this up. Uh-oh. <laughs> My butterflies are tearing. I just need to let them come off. Okay. Then pull them up. They're pretty, though. Okay. There's that. We're going to let that dry. Got a nice, still gooey frame there. Oh, I still need something. Let's see if we can get that to. No, a little bit. <laughs> Don't think that's going to work. It looks like it's gooey enough it would work but it doesn't seem to be sticking okay we're going to stop with that okay let's see if we can add another layer to this one and then we'll call it done I think I'm actually going to call this one done like it is. <coughs> I 
and it looks like that. It's really pretty with that red and, and copper. <coughs> After dry's good, we'll do something on the back. <coughs> oh, good grief, I'm so sorry. Let's save these little butterflies. I might can do something with them. Even the torn ones will work okay in collage, probably. All right. I'm going to put a, try to put a light coat of something down. I think this dark blue will look nice. If I do a light coat of it. And then um, do a design on it. If it doesn't get it as goopy, maybe it'll work better. Let's um let's do where put those other ones. No, let's not do those. Let's do these. I thought I had another flower one. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Let's do this one. down a little bit. Okay. Well, let's put this one back back down. see if we can do this with that. Okay. Look at that butterfly. I don't know if you can see it with the glare, but it's real pretty. And let's take this one off. I can get it to um Painted itself down. There we go. Well, there we go. Finally got those off, and now you can see this paper. I really like that paper. Okay. I think I'm going to call it a night. I hope you all enjoyed playing on the jelly plate. I had fun. God bless you and you have a great night. Sleep well or have a good morning if you see it's in the morning. Bye-bye.